Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. This question from Tiffany. I've never raced an in-water start before. That's where you kind of bob in the water before the gun goes off. Uh, how long do we typically tread water before the start goes off? I'm looking to get some real-time practice in. Now, I know a few races that are like that. Uh, St. George comes to mind immediately. There's uh, Texas, Ironman Texas does that as, as well. Uh, there, I'm sure there's other, many other ones too, but what's your take on this one with uh, for Tiffany on in-water starts? So when I think of that, I think of, of in-water start in Kona because I've had the same, not, not really concern, but I know you leading out, they start for like, let's say a, a back in the day when it was a 7 a.m. start, they start piling athletes in the pier at 6, 15, 6, 30. And so I'm one of those persons that I want to be one of the first people in the water so I could be front and center at the start. And so I'm treading water for a good, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I'm also know that, you know, it's, salt water makes you more buoyant. So you're not expending as much energy as you think you would be because you're still fairly buoyant. And so it's not, again, for me as a strong swimmer, a big deal. And if she is specifically thinking of Kona this year, um, they have moved Kona swim start to an age group start. So they did that last year in 2022. So I was standing on a Leahy drive in a wave for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then Right when they allow your wave to get in the water, you swim to the start, which takes a couple minutes, if that, and then you're then you're going. So you don't have that 15 to 20 minute treading water in Kona like you used to. And I, you know, I applaud you for kind of thinking ahead in case you're thinking of a different race that's going to have you in an in-water start. Yeah, it's really good that you maybe practice treading water, practice getting efficient at it, practice expending as little energy as possible because that's what you're going to do at the start of the race. I also personally do some vertical kicking. And to me, the treading water and the vertical kicking is just really kind of a good stretch and loosening up my legs. It's a good warm up. Mm -hmm. I think what comes to mind is your position where you are compared to other athletes and know that once the gun goes off, everyone, everyone goes horizontal. And so the spacing of shoulder to shoulder, someone directly behind you, once the gun, gun goes off, it can get really crowded unless you space yourself the right way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I can think of some of the uh, shorter races that I've done where I'm just like, okay, let me just let these guys go or you're too close to me. I'll start on the outside just so I can see everybody. It's like it's not that important for me to the initial part of it just to let the water clear up so I can see things. But that initial part is so rough. But how long do you sit out there? It, get, it depends. Yeah, salt water, or if you got a wetsuit, that makes it a lot easier. Laying your back, just float there, take it in. Yeah, good, good, good question there, Tiffany. Yeah, I think her being prepared for that and knowing that it's going to happen, it, she's going to be just her mindset of it. You know, leading yes. up to a race is is better than experiencing it for the first time and and not feeling like you're prepared to tread water for that long and you feel like it's going to use all your energy. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video.